growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always know me, I went to the and you know how we do it. This time, you know what I'm saying? We rolling from Oak Cliff, you know what I'm saying? You know, all through there, and then we finna go all the way over here to East Dallas, you know what I'm saying? And we finna tune in with my boy be Teasy, you know what I'm talking about? Today on Lit Podcast, you know what I'm saying? How about that? You know what I'm saying? We're going down, Teasy. Man, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see you, man. I see you out here, man. Shit. For the ones out there that don't know who you are, and the ones who sleeping underneath the rock and don't know what's going on on the east side of the city, you know what I'm saying? Tell them who you are and where you're from. Oh man, shit. They call me DTZ, you know what I'm saying? Come straight out of E Dallas. And real project, baby. I didn't like that new shit. <laughs> For real, man. Shit. You know, shit. People they, they see you doing your shit. I got my got a couple of CDs probably in the process, songs and shit coming out. Then I know shit. I'm just ripping hard for Eat Out of the Projects. And I got my, my young niggas from the projects. They putting on for the, you know what I'm saying, Gunner Gang. Gunner Gang, okay, yeah, all right. Gunner Gang, you know gang. okay, okay. And my young niggas, man, I, I love this shit that they doing. Yeah. You know, they doing uh -huh. big shit. And then uh, I, know a few, I know a few more from the city, from the hood. Uh, got my got a producer, Iron Willie son. Okay. They better get at that boy, because in a minute, the price is gonna go up. up. You know what I'm saying? The price is gonna go up. <laughs> they shout out Cold as Ice, you know what I'm saying, man? Okay, Cold as Ice. You know what I'm saying? G related. Okay. OG, OG, OG. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. Like just being a. Just so being you a, grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For real. Just being mm -hmm. a young nigga just coming up, watching all the other cat shit. And now I'm finna get on the other cat. Okay, so. So when you say the real projects of East Dallas, real okay, what's the difference? What's the difference between East Dallas? How, okay, tell so, me how does East Dallas separate? So like, when you go through East Dallas, man, you got the projects, then you got the boys that's over on Spring, up and up through the houses. Okay. And you got the uh, Hamilton. Okay. And well, which projects we talking about? You know, for the people out there who don't know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to be specific. Same, you know what I'm saying? Man. The the orange bricks back in okay. the day when they, <laughs> when they were hatching Viking, man. Yeah. We got them doulas, them riders. Like me and she, when you got them doulas and the riders, they get their they get their respect. They right. know they know what's going on. She nowadays, Elsie Faye Higgins, baby, you know what I'm saying? Um, we let them get a pass every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Just cause who they people is. Right. right. So well, they see me coming, they think I'm a new nigga, but nah, I ain't no new nigga. Yeah, you've been around the block. I've been around the block. Well, already. So, all right, so in, in East Dallas, what's this, okay. Cause East Dallas, ain't it separated? Ain't it cause like, you know, it's cause you got everything from Curl, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, if somebody say something, when you say something like oh, all over there, then yeah. be like, uh-uh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I'm from old. I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I'm back here. Yeah, yeah I'm back here. You hey, know what I'm saying? They, they be fucking their head up. Yeah. You ain't, nigga, like, you ain't from the yeah, yeah, from the projects. Right, like, right. Man, you be doing, I say, see, it's a thing. Y'all say, y'all be knowing people from here. But really, it be the people that we didn't grow up on. We stayed on this side of the projects. Right. He probably stayed way on this side of the projects. Right, right, right. Projects big fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, you ain't gonna know everybody in the motherfucker. Yeah, you ain't gonna know everybody in that motherfucker. Unless, shit. unless you just have to just And you know, motherfucker move in and out too, you know what I'm saying? That section, eight, that section 8 voucher come, you know what I'm saying? They get that house, you know, they gone. gone, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's a, it's a rap. <laughs> really? You gotta move with T Lady move, you know what I'm saying? Or your old lady or your granty, whoever you stand with. Yeah, so, really. all right, so what made, you, what's, what made you decide to really just, you know, tune into music? I mean, what was your passions? What drove uh, you to music, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like coming up as a young, like sitting at that green box in the project, all the old heads up there rapping and shit. Like my brother used to rap too, you know what I'm saying? He rap. He okay. still be in and out fucking with it. Okay. He used to be, he used to be over there, Jew later recording and shit. You uh, know, like, me, it's me, my partner Lil D, uh, my other partner Dwayne. We used to, all, I had this little black tape recorder, bro. I used to stick the stick the tissue up in the tape, walk around that bitch out that we used to beat on the green box and just freestyle. Right. You know, we was young and we called ourselves the JDs, ju oh, really? Juvenile Delinquents. Already, oh, already. Oh, really? I still remember that shit like, like yesterday. <laughs> That's why when uh, a nigga be like, oh man, everybody want to I say, bro, it was really my first passion. Right. Before playing football. Before doing anything, that's what that's what a nigga was doing. Oh, you played that ball? I played that. Who ball. you played that ball for? I, I see. I see for um, I see. Midwest State, yeah. Man. Like, 
Like for real, nigga was just yeah. Like, well, well, oh, so, so what was the transition from you know what I'm saying going from college and then coming back? You know, man, that shit, that shit was like it was crazy. Like when you went down to college, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got their mindset. They be talking about all oh, team this, team that. Right. But at a kid's standpoint, they don't recognize this shit. This shit business. Right. Right. So when you get them kids on getting their standpoint, this shit business. Right. Shit. You there for yourself. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in college right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going for my bachelor's right yeah, now. Exactly. I'm, still, I'm, I'm, I'm striving right now with a 4.0. You know what I'm saying? Shit, and, 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 myself. And, and uh, shit, I, I, uh, I, I'm through in November. Ah, oh, man, crazy. You know what I'm that's saying? Yeah, I'm through in November and I graduate across that stage in February. Oh, so, yeah, man. So, I, I know yeah, that college like something else is different. It gets you, get you prepared for some stuff and then it also gets you slayed up mentality. And I think that's why a lot of us come back home. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You, know, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So, all right, let's talk about, you know what I'm saying? Like, who did you listen to growing up? You know what I'm saying? Man, look, coming up, like right now, you know, shit, sometimes I like I the rap regular, shit, sometimes I like the same shit. You know, R&B, R&B, rap wise, shit, the old school, like UGK. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, got the outcast. Right. That's, that's everything. Right. Who you coming to listen to in the city? In the city? Shit, in the city, man. Shit, we had, you know, we had Big Took. Okay. So that's how right. on that side. Big Took. You know what I'm saying? DSO. Mm hmm. What else? Uh, who is it? It's a, it's a, it's a couple of rappers. Mr. Pookie, Mr. Lochi. Oh, shit. Really, really, that local rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gonna hear them songs every time. Make sure they don't say shit about that saying Pookie and Lucy. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's how it's saying, man. Them boys say. Yeah. To this day, I really feel she. That nigga still hard. Right, right. That boy still hard. I be on that nigga Instagram watching the video. Yeah, still nigga be snapping like a motherfucker still. Yeah, nigga still yeah. hard. So, what's so, up? Okay, so what you working on right now? Uh, right now, shit, I'm working on my, um, my second, like my second. Mixtape or album, you, what you want to say? It's called um, You Xavier. Like, that's my middle name, but that shit, like, me a lot. Like, it's like a professionalism or just just being on top of your shit. Bro. Right, being yourself, being you know yourself. what I'm saying, to the highest, you know being what I'm saying, yeah. And, yeah. like, and like uh, when I look at this shit, I'm like, damn, it makes me self reflect on what you really working on or what you trying to mold yourself to be at the same time. Like, so who's so who's helping you through the process of putting these albums out or making sure they they coming out right? You know what I'm saying? You got a team. Man, honestly, yeah, and like yeah, on the back end, I got a team of people like help me. Like I got a uh, LV. Man, shout out LV. Shout out LV. Then you know all the DJs and shit. I fuck with the DJs too. Oh, DJ Chub. Okay, DJ Two Forty. DJ on uh, DJ on uh, on uh, Kiddo. This circle. For real, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I be fuck with them DJ, man. Uh, DJ, go DJ Lucky. Uh -huh. uh, shout out my Kim Oak. Go DJ Teddy Wayne. Okay. Uh, what is, who is, man? DJ, I fuck with them DJs. I fuck with them promoters, too. Uh, too. Really? Just doing like I was saying, you know what I'm saying? I do the, fucking with the security stuff mm -hmm. and just being everywhere. You meet you bumping a different yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then like, with this music, you know, the music shit, shit, like, you got Big Cousin, J. K. Home, Maserati A, out okay. the cliff, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. That's your, that's your cousin? My cousin. Oh, okay, all right, all so right, it's all just, right. It's just, like, it's just like a lot of big things, like, just sitting back, just doing everything the right way, man. Right. Got to stay on top of your business, like, I be telling my little 15-year-old nephew all the time, he be rapping. Mm -hmm. The nigga hard as fuck, but at the same time, he, he got to listen, he got to be coachable. Right. If you can't be coachable in, in this, and in sports, shit, ain't nobody gonna wanna do nothing with you. Mm. I try to tell me that all the time, you got to stay coachable, bro. Right. Yeah, you, yeah, it, yeah, to a certain extent too, but mm -hmm. sometimes you got to let a person who's an artist be an artist. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of things can get away, you know, when you're wearing so many hats, man. I think, you know, sometimes it can get conflicted with some of the things you're really mm -hmm. trying to push out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just tell, I tell them all the time, just keep going hard, bro. And, right, right. And I try to tell them, man, you feel team right now, just wait till you turn 18 and stay on top of your business. Like with the uh, BMI ASCAP, okay, distro okay. kid, 
Song Trust, Sound and Shine. Get a free game. You see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 I yeah. Get, I give them that game all the yeah. time. You gotta, yeah. you gotta have it. When yeah, you gotta have it. When you show people you doing it, <laughs> right. you know, you see. Right, right, right. Taking business. See, that's another thing too. Yeah, well, having having your business in line is very, very important. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're trying to maneuver to uh, higher heights in this industry. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why it's called the industry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a business. You know what I'm saying? So you know, and then also you know, it's a music business, and music is before the business. But you know, after that, it's straight business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm glad you even said that because a lot of people, you know, you know, it's a, you know, I, I, I put it like this: a lot of people know about it. And a lot of people don't know what to do with it. There's a lot of people who don't know nothing about it. And there's people who know about it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that you know, that you do know about it within the shirt that, you know what I'm saying? Especially to somebody who's coming up, you know what I'm saying? Who who was in your corner helping you to understand this? So how'd you even stumble across that knowledge? Like, stumbling across everything, uh, my, my partner, I'll tell you a little, yeah. little deep. Right, deep right. Turn, I used to rap with when we were kids. So, you know what I'm saying? You see him doing the music, I'm like, hey man, how you getting all your all your music over, over here and over here, like on uh, Spotify and everything? Right. And he introduced. He said, "Hey, they go get Distro Kid. Introduce him to that." And then uh, I already had BMI. Other my big cousin introduced him to that. Right. So, and just like once you start taking that process, you're like, damn, like, man, how, can, how can I make the money? Right. So then you go from lease and beach. Like, all right, that's cool, but. How can I get my shit to where it's mine? Right. I get you publishing. When I found out the publishing, I was like, damn. Then I came across some stuff called Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange for like when people TikTok and yeah, your mechanical yeah, voices. using everything. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so when I, once I started getting out, I said, okay, I'm just keep doing what I need to be doing. Stay in that booth, make that music. Most of that music be coming in like that, the everyday life. Right. Like, Sometimes get in there, make a make a make a pain right. song. It's a real life. Yeah, I, when you tell your story, when you tell that truth, people won't feel it. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna resonate with to the people it need to resonate with. You know what I'm saying? That's what music is about. See, a lot of people understand. I think like right now we so blinded about by, by the money Man, and, the, and the gold plaques and Man. and trying to achieve certain stuff instead of just really just being artists and letting our art just shine. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna mm -hmm. touch somebody. And I think that's what we. I think that's what the music lacking. You know what I'm saying? Now sometimes I look when I when I do dig into this crate, you know what I'm saying? I heard, cause you know, you know now, IG and TikTok and YouTube, that's our crate now, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't no more sound goodies in the work city, warehouse, you know what I'm saying? Blockbuster, none of that. So when I'm digging through these crates, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing some, it's some people trying to bring it out, the artistic side and everything like mm -hmm. that. I just think, you know, as a collector, if we start really focus on that, you know what I'm saying? We'll get what we really want out of this music because I think a lot of us don't really know what we really want out of the music. They don't, man. They just, you know? some, they just get it. And, oh, do this. I see my partner doing it now, right. man. Sit down and plan out what you right. gonna do, how you gonna do it. Right. Like, once you start building up that, building up that audience towards you, Everything you put out, they're gonna be hip to it, man. Y'all see such, 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 drop that video or put out that song. I just like, I just like looking at NBA Young Boy. Like, he, he going against the whole industry. Like, with this situation, we understand from, from, a, from a standpoint, but at the same time, why? Mm -hmm. Because he know, shit, I put this out, shit, I know they're gonna be hip to it. NBA Young Boy, I'm gonna get that bag. Facts, facts, facts. I just seen what's the name, uh, uh, Italy Chopper. He just uh, just did a uh, video remade that um, what was that? Uh, that Marlon Wayne's don't drink, uh, don't be a menace in South Central while drinking juice in the hood. Man, I ain't seen that. Oh, man, that's that love that funny, man. Say like, that love funny, man. That love flat. I, I like the creativity in that, man. <laughs> they you know? they, but they on nigga always creative. Right, Every right. Every video I seen be creative. Right. So how you hook up with LV? Ah oh, man, you know LV, you know like OG out the hood, you know he was G related too, right? G related, right? You so, know what I'm saying? And like my big and brother. And you know that throwback, throwback. Ah for real. Yeah, that throwback. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like my brother is like Lil Jack. You know what I'm saying? Right. So young nigga, born and out rapping, like, right? Just having ties to everybody. He's that like I said, we was always young, but we right. were always hung around the old right. cat. You know what I'm saying? 
So what's East Dallas looking like? You know what I'm saying? Who all coming up out of East Dallas, man? Who hot out of East Dallas, man? What's the buzz? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, East Dallas has some star players come up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you had your Gunner Measies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. LV and yeah. Nano came up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You had your Royal Lee. You know what I'm saying? Well, Royal Lee from the side, but but still, back and forth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's right. Yeah, already. Like, we got, you know what I'm saying? We got Ray Gunner. Yeah, Ray Gunner. Yeah. Pop, Pop. Yeah. Then we got uh, Matt. Mm hmm. Trap Baby, bro. Yeah. And then we got, uh, who else? Gunner Meese, like you said, me. Then we got, uh, who else we got over there, right? The whole Gunner Gang. Yeah, the whole Gunner Gang, for sure. <laughs> for sure. And yeah, you can't even name them all that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know can't even say the whole Gunner Gang. The whole Gunner Gang, for sure. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I got my boy Chapo, you know what I'm saying? Who is over there popping that shit out the East, man? I guess some more, it's some more people out of East that they be rapping. It's just she, when you run across them, they don't, you know what I'm saying? They be thinking like, ah, oh, yeah, rap. Right. Yeah, when they hear that shit, like, damn, that shoe. Right, right, they be right. Fu- it just be fucking their head up. Right, right. They don't be knowing that. I like, bitch, I really was doing this as a young nigga. So as I got older, shit, I got better. You going to South by Southwest? Man, I'm trying, I'm trying to, man. Man, you're trying to. I'm I know I know they're working everything to keep them, you know what I'm saying, keeping them, keeping yeah, them busy. Keeping them busy, man, but I think it's going to be kind of big. I don't know. A lot of people going, but I don't know how big it's really going to be this year, you know what I'm saying? I might I might be thinking about driving through there, but if not, you know what I'm saying, I know I'm going to be doing, her, doing some podcasts, getting those in, you know what I'm talking about? And then it's just, it just crazy, like, with me, like, being where I am, like, People don't know, I be connected to a lot of artists. Like, okay. everybody be knowing me. Like, like I was telling you earlier, with my partner Dino from the South. Yeah, I am Dino. Shout out to him. I am Dino, Dino, man. Yeah. Kill the go, man. Yeah. My boy, for real, for real. Then you got, uh, who else in the South? I be messing with just tough with that music. You got, uh, 94, baby. 94, baby. Then, uh, Oak Cliff artists, you know what I'm saying? I mess with, like, Fuck with Uno Low so that Uno Uno Hard. Then uh Uno Hard. It's not a horse out of the camp. Oh, Jose Bodego and everybody. Yeah, I, like, I like Jose, yeah. I like everybody. Yeah, I like everybody. You know what I'm so, talking about? Right. Everybody that working, putting that work in, man. Right. I like this shit. Right. Right. Who you who 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 you uh who have you worked with? Yeah, honestly. They man, it be it be orders I supposed to be working with. Right. But at the time, you know what I'm saying, I had them funds be. Nigga be saying, well, man, I'm charging this, this, for doing this. I be like, all right. I be, right. Like, I be like, fuck it, I'll wait. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Like, I fuck with, uh, I fuck with Fat Pimp and my dog, too. Shout out Fat Pimp, you know what I'm saying? Pimp. For real, man. You know, uh, yeah, I got to give that boy his flowers again. He been on the show, you know what I'm saying? We done yeah. chopped it up. Yeah, you know, shout out two-time Fat Pimp. Little, little running mother elf, the nigga cool. Yeah, little running motherfucker, yeah, man. Half, half height. Half pint, yeah. Oh, man. Shout out half pint, man. man. Shout out Lil Ronnie. Lil Ronnie just got a play. Another play with it with platinum. Yeah, I see. I yeah. see. Like I tell you, I do security. I see Papa run here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like, cool. Just yeah, like DJ that. Papa. Yeah. Yeah, I really shout out DJ Papa run. Yeah, he got his play in too. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah, he's scraping um, the man too. Yeah. Then my then my home girl, she started, she just started 100 bundles. 100 bundles? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. 100 bundles. What about, uh, man, who was that? Uh, LV was turning me on right now. Uh, Guy, trap guy. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, queen, yes, yeah, hundred bundles. Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. She got some going on right now. Yeah, yeah, man. So, okay, so, all right, so who you want to work with that you ain't work with? Oh, man, shit. Who I ain't work with, who I want to work with. Really, man. Like, I really ain't did know too many people out the east shit. We ain't really got it. Got around to it, type shit. Everybody be busy. What, 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 busy? Man, everybody what's up, what, what, what's the East like, man? Is it, I know it's everybody, like any other hood where it's not together. Everybody be doing their own thing. Right, like, right. When it's time to come together, right. the niggas gonna come together. Right. But right now, everybody busy on what right. they doing, shit. We grown now. Right, yeah, we grown. I know how that go. I know how that go, man, shit. Kids, everything, jobs, all that, and just whatever. Like. With my dog Dino, shit, we got songs like right. niggas, niggas ain't heard them hoes. Yet. Right, got a few of them bitches on my phone. I be this to them. Like, yo, yeah, that boy right there, bro. Just waiting. Then uh, 
Big Nick, Big Homie, T Cash. T Cash. Can't forget T Cash. Can't forget T Cash. Alright, you fuck with the Big Homie. Yeah, okay. I be, man, I'm, man, I be fuck with it. I be fuck with everybody. Yeah. Like, shit. If I had a chance, shit, I'd work with OG Bobby B's. So okay. I'd, I'd, I'd be letting them you know, like, shit, I'm down to work. Shit, right. trap. Already. Shit, yo, shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. Man, shit, I'm trying to work. Man, what you think about these gas prices? Man, that shit, I just had to get on my partner ass a little today. <laughs> nigga, nigga talking about, oh, hey, man, I see such, 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 and bring me a pill. I said, man, you want, you want a nigga to drive way right for the south, way out here to grill, pill. I said, sorry, man, give me $30. <laughs> he gonna tell me about 30 I said, yeah, nigga, gas, $4. Hell yeah. He gonna tell me about for real. I said, yeah, nigga. I said, yo, hey, hey, this nigga call me a couple way over here. Come for a pill, come on, nigga. Well, so let me see. Then I wouldn't even come over there for no damn pill. No <laughs> but if that nigga would have gave me the $30, then. He, he said that. You know what I'm saying? Well, he said that. He, uh, said, he, said, he, said, he, he said, said that. Then, yeah, I would have, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that let me know the nigga yeah, really yeah, wanted yeah, that. Yeah, really wanted <laughs> <laughs> For real, for a business. He fucked fuck me up. I said, for a pickle? Right. I said, bitch, you wild. Well, man, they want to head Bitch, you wild. That was time change, too, anyway, man. Yeah. Shit, everybody want that that quick service, man. That, you know what I'm saying? The Ubers, you know what I'm saying? The everything, dash, the uh, food, dash, all that. Uh, and instant. Then, and then, man, like, <coughs> like musically and shit, like, Shout out, shout out, big homie, Wayne West, right there, shout out to him. Man, Wayne West, man, yeah, 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 man, he still be putting the shows together same, and, and everything like same, that. Man. Yeah, I mean, shout out Wayne West two times, you know what I'm saying? I already, I'm make sure we we put we plug you in there, you know what I'm talking and, about? And Mr. Hit that, I fuck with him. And Mr. Hit that, yeah, shout out Mr. Hit that. Fuck them all for real. Mm -hmm. man. Like, yeah, he doing his thing with the radio and everything mm -hmm. like that, and he, I see he's popping out everywhere doing his more events and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, Cause I know that COVID boy had us, had yeah. us up in that motherfucker like, uh, you know what I'm saying? But now you know we spreading our wings a little bit more. It's starting to look a bit like more freedom right now. Man, if I tell you, do it before COVID came, I had so much shit lined up. I had South by Southwest. Yeah. I was spending my own money on that shit. Yeah, man. Who and that shit hit. I would hurt, but no yeah, lie. You can't get none of that back, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I know South by West, South by West said we ain't get none of that back. Then we had did this on um, this show, what's this shit on? Uh, Too High Radio or some shit like that. Uh -huh. I drove way out of Austin to want to perform. So then they were telling us, oh man, you know what I'm saying? You get your fans, people got to pay to vote for you. They were for this. They were finesse. Yeah, they always finesse. They made all that money. There's always a finesse in the music game. You know crazy. what I'm saying? Like, the music is always a man. finesse, man. It's, you know, it's always one right there waiting on that corner. You just man. gotta be the one with your crazy. eyes open, and if you sleep, nigga, you they forget got, if they you they get it. They got you. If they turn you up. <laughs> For real. So, all right, so, all right, so, right now, is you 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 an independent artist or like okay what LV okay what LV got going on with y'all? Cause I see LV got something really strong I, uh, going on. It's like he yeah. trying to you know wake the East all the way up. That's what that's that's the plan. Like, right. People be sleeping on that side of the city all the time. Now let's talk about when, it. When niggas don't know, like back in the day, she two thirty early two thousand. Shit, who the who used to terrorize everybody? Right, 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 Kids right. Get shit there for you out of bounds, on your ass. Man, say, like, man. <laughs> what, what was it? What was it? What was it? What, am, am I mistaken? Or let me see if I get it right. Was it 415? 415. Okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. just, to let you, just to let you know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Say, hey, just to let you know, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know niggas out there, niggas yeah, sleeping really. in the back gate, nigga coming right up in that house, oh, sneaking God. in that bitch on the side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the ones who don't know, so yeah. you know I know that bitch used to be live. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Cause I used to leave niggas with thumps, and I used to leave out with thumps Man. and lumps and cups Say. and shit and some more shit. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> nigga really be scared when the whole East Grid two two three two yeah. ten yeah. 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 they link up. And yeah, be, and they be yeah. fucked up when they have the whole fur day to. And they come in both for the Grambling game and man. the and the regular. <laughs> I remember one year, I remember one year my, my brother would tell him, he was like, man, I told my partner they don't go there trying to go to that goddamn game. Yeah. Man, nigga went in there trying to fight the band, got to hit in the head with all kind of instruments. Man, you just bring back <laughs> memories, man. I ain't trying to get oh, you. Hey, how old are you, man? Man, I just turned 30 Monday. Bro. 30? Oh, okay, all right. Okay, well, you still up in there. You know what I'm saying? But back when you were, I know, I was so you, so you caught the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You caught the, you caught the wave, yeah. yeah. My brother's called to you, like, man, say, 
Everybody fuck with it. Everybody fuck with right. people out the east. Right. Like no matter where you see, you're gonna see somebody from the cliff. Right. From the south. Right. From the west. From the north. From the grove. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker from Soto. It's Duncanville. They be fucking with the east. Not like the fuck they doing such something. I understand. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So when you be seeing this shit, you be like, damn. I think it really is supposed to be our hood it really is supposed to be like ugh on nigga like stiff on nigga ass out here. What is East Dallas known for? Man, East Dallas, man, what we known for. I ain't gonna lie. Say, we just get on them niggas ass. <laughs> no cap. No cap. We'll get on nigga ass. East no Dallas cap. is a historic that, area that district, like, you know what I'm saying? They got the it's like, known for the nigga, projects. They got the they got the live clubs over there, they got the strip clubs. Nigga, we used to fight each other, so we yeah. know like just every day, like a nigga, you gotta fight this one nigga every day with nigga right. doing that shit to make you tough. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when y'all all go somewhere together, yep. nigga know your ass ain't gonna run type shit. Yeah, yeah, they ain't coming over there, crossing Jim Miller, yeah. going all through up, yeah. Hold on, niggas don't even know about them going to the movie days when the, when the um, movie theater was right there in North Dallas. Uh-huh. Right there. Which one? The, um, oh, what was it? Uh, right there by that Waterburg on uh, the Industrial, it's not Industrial, mm -hmm. Imperial, something dry like that. There's a big movie theater right there where that LA Fitness is right there now. I'm fine, but see, right. ain't see, no telling. See, look, you got the target. You walk across the street from that target movie theater right there. And when I say we used to, man, they used to be getting on, getting on nigga ass at the movies, bro. I I never forget that shit. I was in like elementary, nigga. I run up with niggas in high school, and middle right. school. Man, there's a nigga came through that bitch. Had a bad ass Miami Dolphins hat. I ain't gonna never forget this shit. Right. That hoe was like black. With the orange dolphin, man, they beat the shit out the nigga took that hat. It just when the game bang was just tough back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the game bang was tough back then. That was that was the, that was the thing to do. That was fresh and hot and yeah, everything. Like everyone. World for yeah, yeah, it was. You know what I'm saying? So the East Dallas, like, it don't really calm down a lot, man. Like that's why I be telling, like, nigga, y'all, some of y'all niggas ain't be over here back in the ghetto. Well, like, okay, what's what's considered your your neck of the woods? Like, what like, describe us? Like, where's where y'all starting and where y'all in? Ah, oh, shit. From what highway to what end of the highway y'all in? From goddamn, when you start, come on 30 right there on Dolphin. Mm hmm. Come all the way down. Once you hit that, once you hit right there with that church chicken it. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Shit. How we, how we did in project shit. Stay right there on bike in the hatches. So we stayed in the back. Then we moved to the front. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right, right. It was always inside. It's always going down. Yeah, it's always going down. Yeah, yeah, especially, you know what I'm saying? That then y'all got the SA community over there, too. Oh, yo, shout out Bill here. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's what I be trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill here, oh, God. See, they don't know about this shit. Yeah, 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 man. They don't be like, man, why is he up? Bill here, you go up there, nigga, all them Mexicans up there. Yeah, man. Yeah. They don't click, too. Yeah, man. Especially with being in school. It's like, what? Deep. Like a. I, know, I got a flat one night, nigga. <laughs> Let them hoes help you, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what's up, fuck you. Our project name was fucked up, bro. Yeah. Like, we'll see if this is coming from Big Hill. This is East Dallas. Nigga, whoop the mess. <laughs> take your money. Oh, I, you man, you sorry. You robbing. Man, sorry, <laughs> boy. Take them boots out. They take their money and they boot and they work boot. Sorry, but that shit used to be crazy. I used to see that shit coming up, boy. Yeah, man, that shit wild, man. So, man, what, so, man, what can, what can we expect from you, man? You know what I'm saying? What, you know, now you coming out. You know what I'm saying? You know how Dallas is. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to leave a stain on that brain. Oh, yeah, and I see sure. you working. You know what I'm saying? So, we, we expect any visual, uh, visuals or anything like that coming hard? Yeah, for sure. Um, I just did a video with Head Pipe. Mm -hmm. It just dropped. Uh, it, been on, it been on this page for like a month. Okay. It's got like 
almost 10,000 views okay, already. Okay, like nine okay. Point, nine point eight thousand. Already, already, already. I heard that. You it's know called, what I'm saying? That's, that song gonna be on the, on the next CD. It's called Fresh Start. Fresh Start. And shit, I was like, shit, nigga, just need a fresh start. Fresh like, start, on life right. and everything. For real. Like, shit. That's what I feel like right Friend, now. Friendships, relationships, whatever shit it is, man. Shit. Job. The whole nine. Shit, just you. Shit, the United people. States. Nah, I'm saying. <laughs> shit, nah, nigga, they don't really. fresh start around this start. motherfucker, nigga, for real. For real. Nah, I feel you, man. Nah, I appreciate you really coming to the platform, blessing the platform, man. Like, uh, I always ask this question, you know what I'm saying, to most of my viewers. That, I mean, all my viewers that come up here. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? What question would I ask? Okay. Hmm. That was a good ass question. I must have asked like what type of venues you getting into or like when I was saying about promoters, what promoters you fucking with in Dark City. Alright, so tell us so so elaborate. So you when know, we be having we be having the little shows and stuff. It's a couple promoters we like I was saying before we put shows together, this girl named Candy, uh Southside Days, uh, who is? Like I was saying, Mr. Hit That, yeah, yeah. Chub, mm -hmm. they do the shit at V Live on Wednesdays. Yeah. That shit they're really helpful for artists. That's, right. To any artist that's like really serious and they got that shit saying the quality. They got quantity and quality. Right. And they doing what they supposed to be doing. Take your ass to be live on Wednesdays. Okay. You heard it. Wednesdays to be live. On, on Wednesdays, man. Like, I heard that. like stop playing. Just stop hesitating on yourself. Stop procrastinating. Go handle your motherfucking business on Wednesdays. And then uh shout out shout out this little B man too. Okay. I shout fuck with little B time. too. All you know right. what I'm saying? He be, he be doing, he be having this little promotion. Yeah, he be doing his thing. He be yeah. thing on Friday. Stay down. Lives, you know what I'm saying? saying? Stay down. Yeah, stay down. Lives. You know what I'm saying? For real, like, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of cats out here that really be trying to help the artists grow. Really? You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, you know, you know they overlook, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. when the help is really genuine. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, there's been a lot of wolves out here, too. You know, you can't, Damn. a lot of people yeah. been scarred. You know, one thing I learned, one thing I learned, especially on this platform, you know, you know, a lot of people, you know, you can put a lot of people together, but sometimes it just won't work. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's, it's over years and stuff that you just can't fix. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, um... And there's some people who's at the at the forefront ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you know, hey, that, that's 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 life, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But uh, once you get it, yeah, you can go. So, all right, before we get out of here, you, you got anything else you want to say? You want to shout out to anybody? You know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out, shot, uh, shot, shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I shot, shot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you doing your thing. Yeah. You cook up some with her too, one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. What y'all can make make happen, man? Cause she coming, she coming. <laughs> so, like she, like you said, like all boys in the city, she. Right. If a nigga can change, go back and change. She ever run here the time? She three, mo three. I fuck with three. I miss her. Nigga just don't know, nigga right. would have cooked up some special shit. Yeah, You know what man. I'm saying? Yeah. See Strugs. Oh, man. See, nigga, see. That one, this is how I'm saying oh, Dallas man. so small. Look, I'm telling you how Dallas so small. Man. Like, see, nigga be out doing stupid shit. Dallas so small. R.I.P. cuz. See, I had found out that that uh, C. Strugs was my uh, granddaddy. That was his cousin. You know what I'm saying? I seen my auntie on his page. Real shit. That's why I was like, damn, that a smile on me. Like, I seen one of my cousins on my daddy's side. Is a cousin on my mama's side to right. fuck me up. I was like, that a smile on the bitch. Like, it's a lot of people like it. Like it's known, it's big, but the whole smile. Smile, man. And then sometimes you don't even know the person right around that corner until you bump into them and you see them be like, damn, ooh, ooh, Thanks. You know, it be like that. It be happening to me all the time. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, I appreciate you coming to my platform. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all look for that Xavier too, right? You, you, know you, you Xavier part two. Why, why, you, why you? Why you? You Xavier. You Xavier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Coming out. You know what I'm saying? Make yeah. sure you get it right. That's you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the motherfucking whole grinder camp. You know what, what I'm saying? Big facts. You know, shout out to that motherfucking whole East Dallas. Man, yeah. Free my boy Gun Amazing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know on two times. Easy, man. Shout out yeah. to the whole gutter gang. You know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> I'm doing all of it for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, 
like same man. Yeah. Shout out the whole real <laughs> shit. Shout out, whole, <laughs> shout out the whole motherfucking city of Dallas, man. <laughs> For real, yeah, nigga. I know, man. She gotta make this shit better. You can't keep doing the same shit over and over. You gonna never see no progress. I don't care how big my platform get, and I don't care how little. Or how big the artist is, I'm still gonna always support his free, and I always gonna show Thanks. that love. You gonna always have a platform here, you know what I'm saying? That's just real shit, you know what I'm saying? Even even through the midst of me taking care of business, you know what I'm saying? I'm always taking care of business, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all tune in. Anything you need, the link is in the description, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all support me, you know what I'm saying? So I can support you at the same time, you know what I'm saying? We gonna smoke something, get lit tonight, you motherfucking bitch! <laughs> Nah, really like it. It's a street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.